The replacement of late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg is one of the issues on the minds of voters this election. Also a focal point at women's marches all across the country today. And News Nation's Felicia Bolton joins us from the newsroom with a recap. Felicia. Nicole, more than 300 marches were held in cities from coast to coast. The gatherings this year are being driven by several issues, including the pandemic and the replacement of a Supreme Court justice. Participants say they're hoping to send a message to voters ahead of the presidential election. I didn't march in the 60s because I was having children, and now it I feel if I maybe if I had we had done more then we wouldn't be doing it. We have to do as much now. Hundreds of people marched through the streets of Chicago today. Many say the nation is just weeks away from the most crucial election in our lifetimes. At the top of their list, four reasons of marching is President Donald Trump's Supreme Court nominee, Amy Coney Barrett. I'm scared that she's going to take everything that RGB took and send it backwards. She's going to shut some doors or at least try to. And we're here to stop that. Well, face masks were required at today's march. It was a similar message heard today in our nation's capital. Hundreds of demonstrators filled the streets of Washington, D.C., carrying signs and calling for change in Washington. A group of women there also gathered at the Supreme Court, showing their support for Judge Amy Coney Barrett's Supreme Court nomination. On the West Coast, both women and men marched through the streets of San Diego today. Like the other marches around the country, the focus was on women's reproductive rights and the Trump administration's efforts to replace the late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I'm not a young woman anymore, so I don't have to worry about my reproductive rights as much, but I have young sons and they have girlfriends and I have a young niece, and so I want to make sure that they have the freedom to decide what they want to do with their body. Everybody is deserving of um, love, of feeling safe and being equal and feeling like their voice is heard. So, you know, no matter who you love, no matter what your race is, no matter your religion, uh, you deserve to be in a country that values you, and that's what we're here to, to teach our young. Organizers for the Women's March in San Diego have more events ahead of the election planned, including voter registration drives. Rudy Bay.